But I think for our way of life, our constitutional system, our freedoms, th that it's really the, the, the Sharia supremacism that's so rampant in the Muslim world that we need to be concerned about. So if you look at the five largest Muslim populations, Sunni Muslim populations in the world, the majority sect, 77% um, want the Sharia to be the law of the land. If you look at places where we were involved, like uh, expending much blood and treasure, in liberated Iraq, liberated Afghanistan, 99% in Afghanistan want the Sharia, 91% in Iraq. Even Iran, where you know there, there's some residual of a secular society, at present, 83% want the Sharia. So if, you, if you're drawing from that pool of people, of course you're going to have a, 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 an overwhelming share who, who would want to implement the Sharia. It's just natural. If we look at Muslim attitudes towards the Sharia in this country, we have polling data uh, from, from 2012 and then again in 2015. In, in 2012, when Zell Associates, uh, they were doing surveys around the time of the presidential election, basically as part of a data analysis to see uh, who, who Muslims would vote for. And it was accurate in the sense that it predicted, as, as it turned out, that they would vote overwhelmingly for, for Obama's re-election. Uh, but they also asked attitudinal questions. And 58% uh, of U.S. Muslims in this sample, and they were high socioeconomic status Muslims, um, said that, that criticism of Muhammad should be illegal and, and should be prosecutable. 32% uh, were even willing to admit that Islamic blasphemy law should be applied, uh, i.e., you know, imprisoning, killing someone for, quote, unquote, blaspheming uh, 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 Islam's prophet. And about, I think it was 33% felt that they wanted the Sharia to replace U.S. constitutional law. When we fast forward to 2015, Kellyanne Conway, who's a very well-known uh, pollster, very respected pollster, uh, she found that 51% of Muslims in her sample wanted the Sharia to replace in whole or in part U.S. constitutional law. So these are not uncommon attitudes, particularly, uh, you know, they're, they're not obviously as high as 99% in Afghanistan, but they're alarmingly high uh, in, 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 in a modern era in, in, in the United States.